Hey, I'm Rob for JTLPodcast.com and I'm going to show you how to play Shadows Amsterdam. It's a game for four to eight players with separate co-op rules for two to three players. It plays in about 20 minutes. It's designed by Mathieu Orbeer and is published by Liberlud. One of the players is an intelligence officer trying to guide their team of detectives around the city to find three pieces of evidence and get back to their client. The team that do that first, twice, will be the winner. Separate the players into two teams. One player on each team will be the intelligence officer and they will sit on the same side of the table opposite their team of detectives. Put the starting tile with the green intelligence officer symbol facing the intelligence officers as shown. Add the three obstacle tiles to each end. Place six district tiles randomly around the board, starting with one next to an obstacle tile. The rule book shows how they fit together on page four. Shuffle the intel cards. Take four intel cards and put one face up on the starting tile and put three on the empty obstacle tiles. Lay the next ten intel cards face up within reach of the intelligence officers. And now the teams will decide who is orange and who is black. Each team keeps a police track nearby. One intelligence officer takes a random mat card, then secretly shows the number to the other officer who will find the matching card. Both tiles are placed behind the respective player screens with the matching symbol at the top. Put the tracking marker in the centre of the map behind the player screen and put the detectives on the starting tile. And now players will count down and start the game at the same time because play is simultaneous and it is real time over three phases. Gather intel, move and resolve space. Gather intel. From the ten available, the intelligence officer will move one or two of them off to one side so the detectives can see them. They will choose one card if they want their team to move to one adjacent space or they'll choose two cards if they want them to move them to two spaces away from their current location. The cards are then replaced immediately from the top of the deck. Now the intelligence officers can only communicate through these cards. They can't speak, they can't use body language, and they can't react if the detectives move to the right or wrong space when they make their movement. Move. Detectives decide where to move the pawn on the board. Intelligence officers move their tracking disc to match this movement. Resolve. The space that the detectives moved into is now resolved, and then the team will immediately go back round to the gather intel phase. If the space is blank, the intelligence officer will say nothing happened and move on. Red X. Each time they move onto a space with a red X, the intelligence officer will add an X to their own police track. If the space is orange or black, and if it's their team's colour, place an evidence token on that space to show that evidence has been collected. If the space is of the other team's colour, just keep playing. If the space is split orange and black, and the space doesn't have an evidence token on that space, add the evidence token. If a team collects three pieces of evidence and gets to their client space first, they win the round and score a point. If the team places their third police marker, they immediately lose a round and the other team scores a point. And when a round ends, you set up for a new round and you can decide at this point whether the intelligence officer is going to switch roles with one of the detectives. Intelligence officers choose a new map card to use for the round. Return evidence and police markers to the reserve. And the team that gets two points first is the winner. That is Shadows Amsterdam, a real-time party game. Please like this video if you found it useful, share it to let others know about it and subscribe to the channel for more how to play videos as well as other board game related content. You can find my Twitter at JTR Podcast, you can find my blog at jtrpodcast.com. I've been Rob aka Jester the Rogue, until next time, keep on moving.